Crown Ridge Tiger Sanctuary is a nonprofit big cat rescue facility that provides permanent, lifelong care for abused, neglected, and unwanted big cats. Crown Ridge strives to maintain the animal's integrity by providing exceptional physical and mental care. Tigers Sanctuary. We are a USDA regulated nonprofit big cat rescue facility. So it's our job to rescue animals that have been abused, neglected, or are in unwanted homes, and we bring them here to the sanctuary to provide them with lifelong care. Our mission is to give animals a voice by advocating for the conservation of them in the wild and then making sure that they are kept under the best conditions here in captivity. We definitely want to educate the public um, about these animals and the plight of them. So we do lots of educational tours here at Crown Ridge Tiger Sanctuary for both adults and for kids to let people know that these guys are extremely endangered and how they can help us and help our mission. Our current collection consists of four animals. We have three tigers and one feisty lioness. She doesn't let being the lone lion bother her at all. Um, all of these guys, with the exception of one tiger, were rescued from a place called Exotic Animal Paradise, just outside of Springfield. That facility was actually shut down by USDA due to all the abuse and neglect that the inspectors found. At that time, we rescued a whole family group, um, Raja the mom, Mohan the father, and their two daughters, Gracie and Thor. We also rescued Alexis from that same situation. Izzy, uh, the, our biggest guy, was rescued actually from a carnival. Unfortunately, people in the carnival were using him as a photo cat, and at three months old, he already was too big for people to handle any longer. It was not safe at all. So instead of the carnival owners finding him a more suitable home, they were just going to euthanize him and put him to sleep. It was much easier for them to find another cub just to replace him than to find him a better home. So we were able to intervene and rescue him, and now we will provide lifelong care for him. We've since lost two of the animals that we originally rescued. Raja, we lost at the age of 22, which is very old due to cancer. And Mohan, who we lost at age 20, uh, we lost him due to old age. So we do plan to continue our rescue efforts though. We do have 55 acres here and we would love to expand and uh, further our efforts. So when you come to visit Crown Ridge Tiger Sanctuary, you'll notice that most of our animals are housed individually. And that's because tigers are solitary. So when tiger cubs are born, they only stay with their moms till they're about 18 months old. Then they're capable of living on their own. They can make a kill, they can hunt, and they can survive all by themselves. So they go off and lead a solitary life. Even though our animals are here in captivity, we want their lives to be as most naturalistic as possible. So we house our animals individually because that is what comes natural to them and what they prefer. However, there's exceptions to every rule and we do have one of those exceptions here at the sanctuary. We do house two of our animals together, Thor and Gracie, most of the time. That is because they have a really special circumstance though. When we rescued Thor and Gracie, they were five years old. They had never been separated from each other and were very used to being together. In fact, they, had, they were a bonded pair almost. Gracie is 95% blind and Thor was actually taking care of her um, from a number of different ways. One of them was by making sure that um, she had enough food. Both of these girls, unfortunately, were being starved to death. They were extremely emaciated when we received them. To give you an idea how bad they were, right now, currently, we give each animal around 10 pounds of meat a day, 10 pounds per animal per day. When we rescued them, they were receiving one turkey leg a day between the two of them. Now, that's not enough to feed me, much less two adult tigers at that point. Then we learned that Thor was actually um, not eating at all and giving all of the food to Gracie. So without Thor doing that, Gracie probably would not have even made it given her disability. Thor made sure that Gracie was fed. She also um, snuggled with her to make sure she kept warm. And between the two of them, um, that, that was enough and they survived together. So when we rescued them at 
25 years old. They had never been separated. In fact, they were inseparable and they relied on each other just for survival. So we didn't want to be the first ones to separate them. So we've chosen to keep them together. And now they're 12 years old and they are still happy and healthy together. And we do separate them periodically just to give them some space because they are true sisters. So they do have some sisterly moments here and there, but nothing ever forceful. It's all in good play. But we do um, separate them periodically just to give them some space so they can enjoy some alone time, again, which comes natural to them. When we do that, though, Gracie still even today will call for her sister to make sure that she's in the area. And although Thor gets to eat her own food now and is quite happy to take food away from Gracie at this point because they're so comfortable, she does make sure that Gracie's always in a safe place. So when we shift animals from stall to stall, Thor always goes through first to make sure it's safe and she'll turn around and make sure that Gracie's following behind her. So when you come to the Tiger Sanctuary, you'll have to be sure to check out the sisters that are very, very special to us and are generally always together. And if you're interested in actually seeing videos of our guys, uh, be sure to check out our Facebook page. We update that quite regularly with new pictures and photos of events that have just passed. So lots of ways to keep caught up. We do have an event calendar that we update quite regularly that's also on our website. So be sure to check us out on one of our social media sites.